We're out at a beautiful apple orchard here on Ken Island to learn about Maryland's Farm to Food Bank program. Two bins of apples sitting there on the ground that we picked this morning. Yeah, we had a good crew this morning. My name is Amy Cawley. I am the Farm to Food Bank coordinator for the Maryland Food Bank. Uh, we're based in Baltimore, Salisbury, and Hagerstown. Uh, my role as Farm to Food Bank coordinator is to get produce to the food bank in one of three ways. One, it's going to waste on farmers' fields, uh, which in this case, there's apples going to waste. Uh, two, we're going out to glean produce that would be going to waste. So right now we're gleaning with volunteers. And then three, sometimes we have money to actually purchase produce from farmers uh, to ensure that we have produce coming into the food bank. So I like to use that money, we call it contract money, to get fall crops for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So the broccoli, the cabbage, cauliflower, turnips, kale, and collards. So we start out with strawberries in the middle of May and go through the first week of June and then there's a little lull and then you've got squash that we get, cu pickling cucumbers, regular cucumbers, sweet corn starts around the 4th of July and then it's real heavy July and August from sweet corn, watermelons, cantaloupe, tomatoes, peppers uh, and into the fall we get butternut squash, apples on a rare occasion like this. The food bank truck will take it down to our main location in Salisbury. Each of these bins will be weighed and enter our online inventory list. We have on the shore about 165 agencies that we partner with, from mobile pantries, soup kitchens, emergency shelters, churches, uh, and schools that will have access to what we have. They place the order for what they need for their population and then in most cases we deliver to that agency or if they're close they'll come and actually pick up the food from the food bank. So these apples that we're gleaning tonight can end up anywhere from Somerset County to Kent and Queen Anne County. This apple orchard behind me we're going to cross 10,000 pounds that we've harvested just straight with volunteers. Uh, this will be the fourth time I've been here uh, for hopefully about 12 bins that we've gleaned from here. Um, so 10,000 pounds of apples, if you look at this year on a whole, I think that would put us around 75,000 pounds of produce gleaned uh, with volunteers and or pre-release inmates across the eastern shore, which is actually down a little bit because we didn't get to glean any watermelons. They can just call me on my cell phone or they can send me an email. Uh, and then I'll go from there. If they've got produce on hand, then I'll make arrangements to get a truck there. If it's a volunteer, then I'll put them in my database and contact them via email of opportunities that are in their area. Most of the opportunities that I supervise are on the Eastern Shore. I would like to expand to the Western Shore, but there's just not quite as many farms over there as there are over here. We do have two big farms that we partner with on the Western Shore called Farming for Hunger there in Southern Maryland and First Fruits Farm in Baltimore County. They grow food strictly to feed the hungry and are always looking for volunteers. So anybody that may see this on the Western Shore um, can still get in contact with me and then I'll put them in touch with those two organizations. Procured about 700, a little over 700,000 pounds of produce from Eastern Shore farmers. That doesn't include the two big farms on the Western Shore. I think it's a win-win for everybody involved. It's a win for the farmer because they have food that they may have harvested that they have an outlet for that they put blood, sweat, and tears into that's not gonna go to waste. Uh, it's a win for the volunteers because they have fun, they get to contribute to the community. It's a win for the food bank because then we have farm fresh produce that's going out to our food insecure individuals. If you look at that number statewide, it's around 700, 770,000 or so. So it's a win for everybody involved and I think the farmers do it because they feel good about helping. To learn even more, you can visit mdfoodbank.org. On Ken Island, Mallory Drummond, QAC-TV.